Hello transport nerds and welcome back to Talking Planning. So I recently was re-watching a video that I made last year about 2020, the year that was. And I had a little bit of a montage in there about things that I was planning to check out this year. So just re-watched it to see if there's anything I missed. And it turns out there are a couple of reviews that I've been meaning to do. So let's cross another one off that list. Approaching the cultural center is this beige beauty operated with glass house country coaches. Over the Christmas break last year, I caught plenty of rail buses, including this Scania K310 IB with new Azar i6 body. Logan Coaches also has a similarly configured bus running around. Jumping on board, it's pretty clear that this is no ordinary coach. Gone are the questionably designed moquette fabrics, and instead you will find leather seating. I have a hunch that it's a high quality vinyl rather than leather, but it does feel much more premium than the in-your-face seat patterns that you'll see on most buses. Being a well-appointed coach, you get to enjoy certain luxuries such as adjustable air vents and a telly. Irizar certainly know how to design a good looking and comfortable bus, and this interior is a nice place to be. Compared to the majority of coaches in Australia, this Irizar feels more like being on an Embraer regional jet than on a bus. Some operators even fit these with tray tables on the back of the seats. Since this was a Brisbane trip in the middle of summer, I can also fortunately report that the air conditioning was excellent which is an essential feature for Christmas time rail replacements. And if the air conditioning does happen to fail, Irizar even fitted these little hopper windows to let a bit of breeze in. I'm not sure how much it'll help, but it's the thought that counts. Spec-wise, the K310IB is rated for Euro 5 emissions and puts out, you guessed it, 310 horsepower. It also has a meaty 1550 newton meters of torque. Let's have a quick listen now.
you've never heard of Irizar before, they're a Spanish coach builder with a large market presence throughout Europe, and they sell vehicles in over 90 countries worldwide. Irizar has also been gaining popularity across Australia over the last decade or so, and their buses have been purchased by a variety of operators including Kangaroo Bus Lines, Murray's, Greyhound, Bus Queensland, Logan Coaches, Bell Baker, and of course, a host of smaller companies. I'm quite fond of the sleek design, and I've also caught a few Irizar bodies in their home territory on a Europe trip back in 2018. Most of them are also configured more tastefully than some local options, although of course that always comes down to operator preference. But there's no grey and rainbow seat fabrics to be found here. And as we continue towards Buranda Busway Station, I can also say this coach has a solid stereo, which of course as a passenger is either excellent or frustrating, depending on the driver's choice of radio station and the loudness of other passengers. Obviously, it's muted here because I'm not particularly fond of Lady Gaga or copyright strikes, but trust me, the sound quality was excellent. And as we pull into Buranda Busway, it's time to say thank you for joining me. I will see you again soon. Miranda.